What's up guys, Shuri here, and today we are going to talk about Judex and why I think it's the most underrated hero. But first, listen to what my teammates had to say at the start. What up? I found, I found his YouTube. Are you dead? Yeah, we're going to go get some fucking sweats. Yeah, we are. Happy to start out like this. Maybe I should sit up. I'm trying to... Okay, let's put our chat for team... And for some reason, it made it to where I couldn't hear them anymore after that. I could have swore that switching it to party did that, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I was very concerned after hearing them say that, but they did perfect, so it doesn't really matter. So what we are going to be doing is playing with the Judex and trying to get as much range damage as possible and using the level 10 passive to reload and heal ourselves. So we want to get out as many shots as possible possible without taking too much damage that way we can always heal ourselves to full with those small heals on the left and right and then just reload right here we do see two of them coming up on us so we hit them both with the flashbang we were able to take out the sniper and then push back the guy on the right to one shot and we do kill his teammate on the left the iris came in clutch, giving me those heals, and the extra 10% damage is also really nice, especially on a Judex. So right there, we do have the Christina doing the cart time for me. These guys are just making it the easiest game of my life. Thank God, uh, matchmaking's rough. Either way, we do end up going to try to help them kill that Walling. They both survive. A great job by this Iris to keep everybody alive. And funny enough, I don't even remember what I did going AFK there, but we came back after a few seconds, so uh, whoops. Either way, our team does go down, probably because I abandoned them. Again, whoops. But we do come out strong and try to, like, you know, make up for the fact we just screwed them over really hard. Again, whoops. But we do go and rotate around, but we know they're going to spawn over to our left. Luckily, when they get those shots on us, we knew we were screwed and immediately threw that flashbang even before we were in trouble, letting us live, especially after reloading. We healed almost full, and then the Iris coming in clutch, going down there to come and get me. And now we are just going to do our best to push their cart backwards and then make sure they don't come on the left or the right. That's my job making sure that no one gets behind us to flank us and it is the best part about judex on this map you can shoot the middle block and then you can heal yourself you can always flashbang and if everybody's just sitting there and just uh, not moving off the cart what you can do is you can always throw your fire of justice on it and it will kill people through the cart and it will kill through the shields. We immediately got the fort shield down and got two guys really low off that. And right here, I'm just trying to make sure they don't come on the left side. I did see them on the bottom of their side. So we do know that they're going to come from that way. And they did get the small heal. So they will be a little more healed than I originally thought. Luckily for me, I have an iris. So I'm always healed, baby. Let's go. But even when we don't have an iris, you will end up seeing how much the judex does heal itself it's crazy in some of these games but right here we are going to get that 13 streak and we do want to just do our best to help that christina get that cart pushing because he's doing a great job staying on the cart while the iris and i are pushing their cart back and keeping each other alive right there the iris got ulted by the walling but we were able to take him out and right here there is a lot of damage coming but luckily i I was able to hit Fire of Justice, making that fort back down. And I'm pushing in here, which is not advisable. It is just to see where the fort went and see if I can flash them and get out of there just to stun lock them down there so they have less people up top. The bad thing is he ulted and my iris came to help me and got stuck in it. I tried to go back and help her, but it was too little too late. That was definitely my bad. Uh, again, man, I feel really bad. Either way, it doesn't matter because we did end up distracting them enough to be able to let our Christina get that cart even further and then I kill the guy trying to kill the Christina and then it is going to be the Iris versus Fort up in the middle. We're going to go ahead and end the Fort and we are gonna get the win. This was when our teammate turned his mic back on and said this. Jesus fucking Christ. 
But 70 kills, it was crazy. But the next guy was even funnier. And YouTube guy, you were just playing against me, you fuck ass nigga. Yo, where'd my dad just nigga on me, bro? Hey, you better be like that. That's all I gotta say. You better win this game the way you just sit on my team. I'm like, finna cap to you. Bro, you were fucking on my team last game, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was hard to aim. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> But either way, we are going to have a Jabali giving us a little bit of cover. It is nice to have teammates that are helping a little bit. Um, the one problem is these guys were very new to the game, and that is going to not be great for us. Either way, we do end up getting that five streak and stopping the Aletta early. Another 17-0 game in the making for sure. But last game was something special. I had a healer. This is all Judex is healing. And you are going to be amazed at what these reloads can do from the passive. Right there, we do throw the Fire of Justice in and we get everyone to back out. We are pretty screwed. We are blinded and we have the Aletta on us. Luckily, we are able to hit some ahead shots and kill the Aletta after we blinded him. We do reload and fully heal ourselves. Now we need to push up so our teammates can get a little bit of relief. Our Jabali is about to die, so we need to push up as fast as we can and see if we can get these kills. So we do have the Aletta really low and he's trying to come up from the side, but he does die after we get him to one shot. Our Jabali doing a great job right before he died to end up killing the Aletta and for whatever reason, I could not hit this stupid guy for my life. But we did have some pretty good accuracy onto the Aletta, which was good. And I knew I was screwed, so I did my best just to throw down my ult, see what I could get going. And we got the Aletta low enough that our teammate was actually able to kill him. So some good team help here, and they throw their Fire of Justice. All I gotta do is make sure I kill their Judex and don't run into the fire. <laughs> yeah, I do that sometimes. But luckily, this was not one of the times we ran in fire. You know, as long as you're improving every day, that's all that matters, right? But we are able to go ahead and miss a flash because we suck. But our teammate does do a little bit of damage in there to get the kill onto the Gloria. And we go ahead, heal full from that half heal and our reloads. Like I said, even without the Iris, you can heal yourself so much. And every single time you fire, you need to be reloading and i know what you're saying okay cool so you reload your bullets thanks sherry we really needed you to tell us that but no for real after you fire each individual bullet if you have downtime reload even if it's in the middle of the fight it'll heal you and this character can get in trouble by running out of bullets so if you have downtime reload even if it's just one or two extra bullets you'll thank me so right here we do see that they're coming in because they were hitting the middle block we are going to go ahead and throw our fire of justice and get one and then the other guy got a little low from it we were able to kill him both our teammates are cooperating together on that right side so i'm not gonna have to need to worry about that right side i just need to make sure no one's coming from the left around me and i'm gonna just try to help them out up that middle and if anyone comes on the right side to them i will also try to do some damage this is out of range so i do have to manual fire from here and we are are just going to go ahead and rotate out and immediately as we do this they throw down the mark ult so i just decided to go back to the middle throw in my flashbang that way by the time i get over there it will be a fair fight but then he is going to have a little of an advantage because I just don't have the angle on him. So I did go ahead and move back. Then I reload to get just enough health that I can go safely grab the full heal. And as soon as we do that, we throw our flashbang, but we do end up missing. And we really have to stop this here because they are catching up. And it was really important that we got that kill, so we waste our ult on one kill, but it ended up being a good choice here. And right here, we do miss a lot of our shots, but we are able to get the kill and get out with our health, even though we landed on the Fire of Justice. These reloads heal so much, and that helps you get through so much damage, and it'll allow you to go and get into one of these heals. 
And if you're missing just a little health, instead of going for a heal, you can just either fire randomly into the middle block, or you can just waste ammo into floor. It doesn't matter. As long as you're reloading, you are healing. And that is why we ended up going 16-0 while taking 46,000 damage. We had no healer. We did that all off of tiny heals. We never got a big capsule. It was all tiny heals and our reloads for 46,000 damage to go 16 and 0. And so right here, what we want to do is just try to peek and get whatever we can on Fade. Fade is very dangerous for us, especially if he gets close. So I am just being as cautious as possible and just trying to get whatever damage I can from afar. Luckily, I was able to kill the Osus with my wall peak and we are just trying to wall peak whatever damage we can luckily it is blocking all of the fade balls so we are able to just kind of dodge all that damage we realized the fades probably coming on the right and as soon as i saw the osa smoke i'm like okay let's get behind the ruby shells baby yeah we don't we don't want none of that and luckily for us we were able to have a distraction from the ruby shields so we were able to kill the osis and we're just jumping around trying to reload and heal as much as possible so we can live through the fade with using our reloads to heal until that big heal comes up it is all we got luckily we were able to kill him with the fire of justice staying alive and then we were also able to kill the osis and the gloria and now we are just trying to sit up here do whatever we can to pick out the snipers and also make sure we're not getting snuck up on on that left side and because i was making a video about never dying on Judex, you think I'm letting them sneak up on me? No shot. So we are going to keep checking that left peak, making sure that they also aren't up top on the right, kind of sneaking up on me. And then the fade, of course, we are going to have to keep track of him. But luckily, he's big and clunky, and uh, we have our fire of justice up. So if he comes this way, he's screwed. But we do also have the shields of the ruby. It's just kind of all good for us. But our teammate is getting rushed on the cart, so I am going to have to go down there to help them we do go ahead get on the cart and luckily for us we do have shields from the ruby there and the ultimate of the sindri and since i can't see this osis i go ahead and throw my fire of justice and then we're immediately gonna back up until his smoke goes away that will keep us alive we do have a little bit of shields we don't really want to abandon our ruby so we're just trying to do what we can to jump and hit those headshots we do end up getting the kill and then we get the one on the right allowing us to cap and go 10 and 0 like I said, I'm not gonna die. I don't like dying. And unlike every other hero, you actually have a choice with Judex. And the reason for that is you do really good long range damage and it is very accurate while jumping. When you have other things like Gloria and then you have a Gatlin and Hunter at a really long distance, if you jump up and down, it's not going to be as accurate. And then you have things like Judix and Scotty that shoot one bullet at a time that are very accurate while jumping. The thing is, Scotty needs to be in that medium range or closer to have full damage. So Judix can just jump up and down from further away and do a lot better and then on top of that if you get in trouble you have the fire of justice if you're getting rushed on and you have the blind if you have somebody that's trying to get you from far away or up close and these can get you out of trouble so often and then you're always reloading which is always healing you we go ahead and throw our uh, ultimate fire of justice and we thought that it was stupid that the guy ran into it until he popped his ultimate which was almost gonna kill us Luckily, the fire of justice went out perfectly, and I knew he would just try to rush us since he knew I was low. Luckily, we were able to get him before he was able to do any damage. Right here, we are going to rush out and try to get the guy flanking left, and now we're just looking up that middle hallway and to the right to make sure if anyone's coming, we do our best to help our team get them down quickly. So, they have someone on the cart, and I do hit them with my flashbang and right here we're just waiting for our ultimate to come up the second it does we kill the jabali and then we are going for the rest of their team we got everyone dead and then the last guy was one shot we were able to flash him and then kill him with a shot to the body and now we are just pushing
pushing forward and we have our Sindri with us and I see the shield of the Jabali so what I'm gonna do is get away from the Jabali and go to the right to try to help kill that Sindri we do kill him and then go for the Kazama now we do have the reflection shield of the Jabali and as soon as our teammates kill him he's down and we are able to win the game. We almost get the kill on the Kazama, but it ran out just in time. Going 11-0, making it a perfect no-death kind of video. And having no deaths and so many kills every game is why I average 10.7 kills, 100k plus damage, and a 3.6 KD. And as you guys know, since the update, that means I literally haven't been allowed to get a game other than bots for three days. So that kind of sucks. But that's for tomorrow's video. But you know what we're doing tonight? Talking about how amazing Jordy is at thumbnails. Go to my description, get his Discord info if you want him to make your thumbnails, and work out a deal. Best decision I ever made. And with reasonable prices and amazing service, you guys will feel the same. Alright guys, have a great day.